Hi, I'm CM Coleman, and today we're going to make pumpkin cheesecake bars. Alright, simple recipe because I can only handle simple things. It's getting kind of late at night, so I thought I'd try this. This is really quick, and I want to stress really quick. In my pan, which is an 8x8 pan, which is lined with aluminum foil, I have a cup and a half of graham cracker crumbs. To that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of melted butter. Dump all that there. I'm going to take a spatula and mix them up. The goal is I'm trying to create a crust. So, and of course this is going to take forever, but we'll do the best that we can. Mixing it all up. And yeah, I've been trying to do the, all of these so that they're going to be in a single take. The only cuts I'm going to try to do are just cuts in between uh, cameras. So, you'll notice that now I have, it's pretty wet. So what I've learned through experience, I might add to, the best tools that you have are your hands. So I'm going to take my hands and press the graham cracker crumbs down. My oven is preheating at 350 degrees. And really, I am just pressing this down as firm as I can making sure that the, the bottom is evenly covered. Doo, 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 doo. Everything looks pretty good, I'm hoping. All right, bottom is evenly covered. In this mixer, I have uh, 16 ounces of cream cheese. Now I have pre-whipped this just a bit. To that, I'm adding half a cup of sugar. half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of pumpkin puree. And once again, this is real pumpkin puree. This is not, I want to stress this, this is not pumpkin pie mix. This is pumpkin puree. Pumpkin pie mix, you're getting into some other ingredients that we do not want in here. So, I'm going to turn this off for a second. Scrape it down, because we need to make sure that everything gets mixed in together. Well, and this is another simple, simple recipe. Of course it's a simple recipe. If I'm doing it, it's going to be a simple recipe. All right. On this plate, I have one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter of a teaspoon of ginger, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves. All of those, of course, are brown. I'm going to dump that into my... Uh, pan or bench my mixer. Quick whip there. Two eggs. Uh, my eggs are farm fresh eggs. I do have a friend who gives me eggs, which I'm very, very grateful for. Thank you, Chris, for giving me the eggs. But you can get your eggs anywhere. Mine or are organic, I do believe, but they are farm fresh. So two eggs. I will whip that up nice and smooth. Don't forget, and this is the important part, never ever forget to mix. Make sure that you are scraping so that you can get everything mixed in together because there's nothing worse than to bite into something and say, oh, you had whatever seasoning that was. Good. All right, let me move this stuff out of the way real quick. And since you're seeing this live, you are seeing how fast these things go. All right. I'm going to take this, scrape. Now here's one thing I've learned, once again, through their experience. After you scrape this, I'll just put that in my handy sink. I'm going to go ahead and mix it up once again with my spatula. 
So I'm mixing. I'm going to pour this into my pan. Of course, nothing wants to come out. Nothing wants to be scraped out today. I can understand. It's, it's been a long day. So, I get that out, scraped it out. I'm putting it into the pan and then I'm going to take it to the oven and I'm going to cook this for approximately one hour at 350 degrees. After that one hour, what's going to happen is the easy part, the part which I love. I chill it. I'll bring it down to room temperature and then chill it for three hours. So once again, cook for 50 minutes, chill for three hours, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to cut it and everything. So I'm going to put it in the oven now. Our cheesecake bars have baked for 40 minutes, then they have to chill for 3 hours. Once we're done with that, they're done. So then all I have to do, I'm going to take a long knife, go through each bar, or go through the uh, cake, and cut them into bars. The one thing that I have learned is that if you cut, if you clean off your knife after each cut, it does make it a little bit less, uh, or make it a little bit easier to cut. Wow, it sets up really, really nice. Now hopefully you will do a better job cutting than I'm doing. And I'm sure you will because I'm sure that you are much more patient at this than I ever will be. And you get the idea. So there you have your pumpkin pie cheesecake bars. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, click like. You can subscribe to this channel and every Tuesday and Thursday you'll see a new recipe. On Wednesdays I'll give you tips. Mondays we're going to start a new thing where we probably have already started which is make it Monday and we'll make things such as vanilla cake uh, box cake ideas. So that's what we're going to do on Mondays. So I hope you enjoyed this. And also in the link in the description below, you'll see a link to my website, which has this recipe and many others. I hope you liked it. Once again, make yourself at home.